Social media plays a very important role in today's life. It has changed the way people live their life today. It has made communication much easier. I told you that because in today's episode, we are going to make together a social media home effect. Stick to the end of the video and you will learn how to make it so you can add that to your website or portfolio. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about web development, start now subscribing and click the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, you guys, hey, let's start you really from scratch here. Okay, let's make it simple. And let's open up our VS Code. And now let's move to the our folder. In here, let's create just two files, okay? One for the markup, our index.html, and another one for styling, style.css. Let's close this for now. And in here, let's create our boilerplate. All right. Let's come to the title. And in here, let's say something like social media icon hover okay as you saw in the beginning we're gonna use some icons so let's use the font awesome url okay you're gonna have that link down below in the video description and another link that is gonna connect our css to our markup let's go live okay so you're gonna be code on the right and you see the result in real time on the left that's the best way of learning, learning by doing, okay? Down here, let's create our main div wrapper. And inside this one is, is gonna have a button. This button here is gonna have just two things, one icon and the text, okay? Let's go to the icon. And let's use the font awesome class, okay? Fab Facebook, okay? Let me save this and you can see already we have the icon. Now the second thing we're gonna have here is gonna be our text. Let me create a spam and type Facebook. So as you can see, it's not that complicated at all. It is a button with an icon and a text. Now let's go to our CSS. Let's populate our CSS. Here is where the magic happens. Let's import the font poppings from Google Fonts, quite simple. I will also leave the link down below in the video description. And let's go straight to our CSS reset, okay? Let's get rid of margin and the padding. The box size is going to be also border box, okay? And let's use the, the fonts, the poppings and sans serif. Next step, let's go to HTML and do also body. For the layout, let's use grid. Height is going to be 100% and width also 100%. Okay. Now let's place our items in the center. As you can see on the left, it's working nice. And let's create a background color. Let's grab something nice. Let's have a linear gradient, 15 degrees. Let's use this color, FFF 0%. And let's pick a second color, D7A1AC. And this one is going to be 74%. Okay. As you can see, it's starting looking nice. All right, and now going back to our markup, we have just one icon and text. Let's duplicate that one because we need more than just Facebook, okay? And here is very quite simple. All I have to do is change the icon here. You can choose wherever you want. I mean, here is going to be Twitter. And for the text here, also Twitter. And you can see on the left that's working, okay? And Instagram, let's also change the text, Instagram, let's move to the 
this one. Let's have WhatsApp. I'll change the text for WhatsApp. You can use it wherever you want, okay? And the last one, YouTube. Feel free to use your favorite social medias, all right? In here, let's grab the wrapper and button, okay? For layout, let's use inline block, height and width is going to be 60 pixels, okay? Let's also float it left and let's give it a margin of 0 and 5 pixels, okay? Background here, let's make it white and as you can see it's square let's fix that with water ready 50% make it round and the cursor let's use pointer so there is some interactivity with the user let's add some box shadow 0 10 pixel 10 pixel RGB let's let's pick the black dot point one transparency okay and now let's grab the, the icons itself, okay? Wrapper, button, and icon. Let's start by change the display also to inline block. Text align, let's put that in the center. Height is the same, it's gonna be six pixels width and height, okay? And border radio 50% make it also round. Box sizing, border box. And let's put it in the center with line height 6 pixels. Let's grab now the wrapper, okay? The button and the icon itself, okay? Let's increase its size to 25 pixels and also line height, let's say 60 pixels, as you can see it's right in the center. And that's it for now. Let's go to the our text, okay, in the spam as you remember. Font size, let's increase it to 20 pixels. Font weight, let's say 500 make it almost bold line height here is gonna be also 60 pixels all right and let's also give some margin left of 10 pixels so it's not gonna be stuck on the icon all right now moving for the best part of this project okay let's really apply the hover effect on the button okay the button is 60 pixels wider and now it's going to be 200 as you can see we hover over it and it changed the width but let's get rid of the text under the button and let's put that in the button okay all right it's looking nice but we need to add some transition as you as you know it becomes all your effect becomes much better transition all three seconds and is out now let's take a look and see how nice it is how beautiful this effect is take a look there is already a nice hover effect to our project but we did more okay as you, now you are gonna change the color or the icon when you hover over the button okay Let's use the pseudo class Nth child here. I select this one, the first one, for example, and hover. And let's change the color of the background. Each one of those is going to have its color. Let's see here, Facebook has its color. All I have to do is duplicate this. As you can see, we have nice effect. We are doing that step by step. It's simple and a nice project that you can use in your portfolio and website. Let's go to the third one here. Let's go to the Instagram. 
and let let me put its color move it to the fourth one anytime you can pause the video okay and you copy the these values okay now let's take a look Facebook Twitter Instagram and everything has its color as we did before we have nice effect but we need also transition so let's apply some transition okay all three seconds is gonna everything happen at the same time take a look now it makes a huge difference this nice transition effect it's nice it's beautiful but we need something else as you can see the icon is black so let's change its color okay let's grab this one and let's apply a hover effect change its color to white this is gonna make a huge difference take a look now it's much better much more beautiful okay and again let's apply the same position the same time of the three seconds and it's becoming very nice there is a lot of things going on here right now but we need something else now we're gonna change the color of the text the text is gonna have the same color of the social media okay for that we're gonna be using uh, child, okay and simple like that we're gonna just change the color take a look Facebook now has the same color of the social media let's duplicate those lines here change the numbers here this one is the second one let me put the Instagram color this one is a tree all right Instagram now let's do the same for WhatsApp or wherever social media you prefer to use on your project okay you don't have to do the same as mine okay make your changes and the last one YouTube now let's take a look yeah it looks much much better right now take a look everything fits is a nice beautiful project but of course don't forget that you have to have some transition this is make it even better all right our project is done let me show you I really hope it was helpful if you like it, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, and you also click the, that little bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video.